Hey everybody, welcome back to Ortho Nugs. In this video, we're gonna discuss the osteo and arthrokinematics of the hip joint in both an open kinetic chain and from a closed kinetic chain standpoint. Uh, we tend to discuss, or it is a good idea to discuss and understand arthrokinematic glides in both an open and closed chain, uh, or from an open and closed chain standpoint when you're dealing with lower extremity weight-bearing articulations. So let's look at our right hip here. So we'll start in an open kinetic chain first and discuss the arthrokinematic or accessory motions that occur with different osteokinematic motions at the hip. So let's start with flexion and extension. So we've talked about in other videos that we all need to be on the same page with defining this arbitrary point that we will use to describe our accessory or arthrokinematic glide. So in our classes, we talk about the superior and lateral aspect of the articular surface of the moving segment. So in this case, it's going to be this superior lateral aspect of the femoral head. So when we go into flexion, we're going to describe that as a posterior pivot or posterior spin. If you remember again from our other videos, we talked about when the axis of rotation goes through both articular surfaces. And in this case, this will be a medial to lateral axis. So the medial to lateral axis will go through both the femoral head as well as the articular cartilage of the acetabulum. Then we will define that as a pivot glide or a spin glide. So with flexion, that will be a posterior pivot. With extension, that will be an anterior pivot. That arbitrary point, we, point we've defined is moving anterior with extension and posterior with flexion. How about ab and adduction? Ab and adduction will be a more typical roll glide. So we have the convex femoral head within the concave acetabulum. So as we move into abduction, we will define that as a superior roll and an inferior glide. And as we move into a deduction, that will then be an inferior roll. So remember the roll is the same, the same direction as the osteokinematic motion. So a deduction will be an inferior roll and a superior glide. Internal and external rotation. This will also be a roll glide. So as we move in this neutral position from uh, neutral to external rotation, that will be a posterior roll and an anterior glide. And then again, from this neutral position, we go into internal rotation. That will be an anterior roll and a posterior glide. Now let's talk about closed kinetic chain motion at the hip joint. So in this case, the femur is fixed. We have the concave acetabulum, which will be moving on a fixed femur. So, um, Let's see, we talked about flexion extension from an open chain. What about anterior and posterior pelvic tilt on a fixed femur? How would you describe those arthrokinematic glides? So it would be just the opposite. So again, we'll use the, the um, descriptor pivot glide or a spin glide when the axis of rotation is cutting through both articular surfaces. And just like with flexion extension, anterior and posterior pelvic tilt, the axis is going through both articular surfaces. So when you go into a, an anterior pelvic tilt, that's going to be an anterior pivot or an anterior spin. Again, the acetabulum spinning or uh, pivoting on the fixed femur. And a posterior pelvic tilt will be a posterior pivot glide or posterior spin. Internal and external rotation. Again, we have a fixed femur. This will now be concave on convex, so the roll and glide will be the same direction. So if this femur is fixed and I pivot around that fixed femur, the pelvis is moving, the acetabulum is moving, so that will be <clears throat> an anterior roll and an anterior glide. Now I'm pivoting in the opposite direction on this fixed femur, concave on convex, that will be a posterior roll and a posterior glide. And finally, we'll talk about pelvic depression or elevation on a fixed femur. So if we're looking at this right fixed femur, if uh, there's contralateral pelvic depression, that will be described as an inferior roll and an inferior glide. 
If there's contralateral pelvic elevation, that would be a superior roll and a superior glide.